Hello everybody, I'm Marco Dambut and today we are going to build a Turbo Anarchy system with a Maya node. I already made a tutorial where I explain the math and everything, so if you want to go deep on that, you can uh, check that video. Here we are just going to do it. So the first thing that we need to do is the sort of unconstrained or matrix planner matrix from our base and our target. So let's get all the control that we need. Uh, base of target full. This one, oops, this one made the best one. Um, we are going to use like a, 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 any Maya node, not 2024, even if I'm using 2024, but I will point it out some of the node. Um, so we can um, go in different way for that. I go for multi matrix and I'm going to multiply the word matrix of uh, my element by the inverse matrix of my base. So word inverse matrix. Oops, what in this matrix? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I usually don't use orthograph, uh, let me add it in a moment, so um, it's just easier. So we say what matrix here, matrix here, and what in this matrix there, to there. Now we can use a vector product to get the position or the just the last row of. Uh, our matrix, so here, and the way that it works, you just go for pointer matrix and you keep this one as zero. It's sort of an offset, but if you do, if we do like offset by zero, just give us the position. Um, so here we have our aim, let's go here, aim at temp up. Uh, we cannot really use normalize in this case, so we're going to create another vector product. Uh, actually, this is our, is gonna be our uh, input. Say no operation normalize. Sorry, uh, let's like a early, and this is gonna be our pitch aim normalized. So duplicate. Up. Output output input. No operation normalize. Awesome. So we need to build a folder for matrix, show all, where we already have our first three elements, and this one, what? One and two. We cannot use this one because that are not perpendicular. So let's first uh, build the um, uh, the right vector. Let's see like vector product product. And we want to uh, our aim by our um, temp up. This is going to be cross product normalized. And this is going to be our right vector. So we can output x on 3, uh, 20. It's not 20, it's 20. It's common row. 2, 1, 2, 2. And now we can. Can up. Uh, this is gonna be uh, order is important. So at the moment, uh, so if you wanna find the up, first you need to be the right. The second we need to be our aim. We already see all this uh, work in the multiple tutorials. So you know I'm not going too deep on that. You can uh, watch every of uh, my tutorial. Here we go. Uh, we need a position to in space, so we can just. Uh, Use the same technique. So get the product dot uh, the vector product. Sorry, what matrix now of our base? Here you go. So this point matrix of the zero. Here you go. So now this is going to represent my position in space. One and two. Awesome. So now that we have this one, we can literally apply this one to our a uh, point a. So here you go, other and offset matrix. And this is our aim. This works as intended. Uh, amazing. So let's do the first angle. So for the first angle, we need um, sorry for that. We need um, ABC. So this is mean we have our AB here. 
and C is gonna be sorry, uh, is gonna be A B C. Sorry, A B C. So B is the distance between these two. So we can get if you want the length, etc., etc. Uh, but we are going. Uh, we can get. Uh, which one of these go? Actually, it's probably better to start to rename properly. So baseball. So this is a whole. Yeah, well, it's not probably correct, but still. And this one here is our target vector. We can get the length of this one, it will work anyway. Uh, but we have another node that is a distance between, so we can use this one. So the distance between from uh, our target. Oh, it doesn't matter the order, sorry, uh, the distance is still the distance. So uh, even if I use first the base, it doesn't really matter. Here you go. So this is going to be our distance. Uh, so we need to have a multiple divide uh, to do the power. Now let me write down the formula so we can read all the time. So we have then our cos of the angle is b squared plus c squared minus a squared by to b, uh, b, c. Uh, and if you wonder what is what, is going to be a, say, a, b, c. Here you go. So um, let's start with a, then is actually our, uh, c, sorry, a is actually b. b is our distance here, and c is the rest, is the length a, b, c. So on sign multiply divide, power by two, two, two. Uh, here, of course, there is the new node power if you want to. So now we can we just uh, we can just do b plus c minus two plus a. So um, multiply double linear. Uh, so a need to be negative. So output x is gonna be here multiplied by minus one. You have now the node negate, uh, negate, I think it's called, then it does this one automatically. Plus minus average. Uh, we are going to, uh, it doesn't matter the order. I just like to uh, do the same of my formula here. So B, C, and minus A. There you go, and we did the first. So now let's go for the second one. We need a double linear here double linear so the first one is b by b and c so we say that b and c have these two b and c and we have to multiply this one by two 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 so now we need to do division multiply divide Divide. Eventually, we can go the condition in case the the, the bottom part is zero, uh, but yeah, we don't do it right now. It's this one here. Divide by. Awesome. So now we need to do the cos and theta. The cos theta it's uh, kind of Pythagoras. It's a Pythagoras. Sorry, where uh, radius one we force to be radius one. So y it's equal to one minus x squared. So uh, this is our x. Um, so now we need to do multiply double linear. So because it's x square, we're going to get the result one. And we do for input one and input two. So now instead we want to do the minus one. So plus minus average, we get the output here. Input two. Uh, it's annoying to do it, the input one, blah, blah. So I just plug twice, you go minus one, one, sorry, and subtract, here you go. And now we need to do the root square. So we can use multiply divide, uh, get the result, and power by zero, five. Now then we have these things, we can angle between, and we have the angle between from 1, 0, 0, 
to is actually need to zero. Uh, X then it's this one here. And my mistake. X is gonna be here, so this is one, okay. And epsilon <laughs> and y is gonna be uh output. Can do it. Output uh x. So now that we are in a good team, we can do compose matrix, compose matrix, and where we set this one earlier z as input rotate z. Awesome. So now that we have this one here, we can plug directly this one to um, offset parent, which is going to be wrong. So uh, let's get like multiple matrix matrix where we multiply this one here oops multi matrix I select the wrong one so this one here by output here and that is gonna be here you go, and we have the first one ready to go. Everything works fine. Well, it's gonna be freak out when we go to zero, but it's perfect. Okay, now we need to do the same things for the second part. Let me keep the same formula here so it's gonna be easier to read. Um, so we need to have. We can use this one as a reference. The only thing is we need to remember to change the order. So now then we want to compute um, at this angle here, our A here, uh, let me rewrite actually. So um, opposite here, this is gonna be B, it's gonna be A, C, A, Okay, so um, I say um, our A is going to be len B. Our C is going to be len A. And our B is going to be the distance. Yeah. Actually, I say B and I plug to C. That is not a smart move. This A is going to be C. So now we are, uh, this is going to be power 2. That's correct. We need to do the plus minus. So B is going to be minus one. If you want to just double check, so B need to be the opposite one. So uh, the opposite one is this one. We connect this one to B here, and that is going to be there minus one. That's perfect. Uh, so we are going to have some like I say, order doesn't matter, it's a sum. I just like to keep the same of the formula so it's just clear. Um, so we did all this part here. So now we need to do the uh, double linear where we do A and C. A and C are the two here. So we can just easier. And this one is going to be about uh, like two. Uh, and now we can divide. So we can divide.
Cool. So this one now is the uh, arcosin. So we need to do the arcosin. So the same things here. We do for double linear. There we go. Uh, we go in for one minus. You go one minus that one. This is gonna be the power. If you want, you can use the same one. I do prefer with the parallel evaluation to be clear about clear two different branches so they can kind of parallelize as much as possible. But for this kind of computation, it's not a big trouble. Uh, one zero zero, and this is gonna be our x. That's going to be our y. Cool. So let's compose the matrix. That is going to be our auto day z. This is not going to be correct. I'm just going to apply uh, just to proceed. Uh, I'll let you know what is wrong. We just need to put like a rotation negative. Same uh, things that we mentioned before. So auto matrix. Uh, that is sort of correct. He's rotating from there. So we need to break this one connection. Uh, we, uh, we can so compose on four by four matrix, that's fine. On X, we can. We have len A, then it's gone on our. 3301 and that is multi matrix the same of this one so we have a 4 by 4 and our um, rotation here so we have our rotation and our offset here. So like I said, this is the uh, negative one and that is correct, it's what we uh, know about. So uh, double linear. Um, so actually, we need to storage. We are going to okay. So this one is going to be one eighty. Sorry, I just connect wrong. Um, so yeah, here you go. So uh, the flip is just a fallback in the wrong position. And uh, yeah, have a lovely day. Thank you very much, Marco.